my fellow collectors, this is Link's Reviews, I am Link, and today we are going over the Star Wars Empire Strike Back 40th Anniversary Funko Pop line. I've got four Funko Pops for us, so let's get right to it. First off is the Battle Damaged R2-D2 from the Empire Strikes Back. This one is really cool. I love R2-D2. Surprisingly, my favorite character from Star Wars. Honestly, I know it's strange, but he's just, he's just really likable. I like him. And he, he solves the most, and honestly, I feel like this guy, even if he's not a real human being, he's got, he has to have Lady Luck on her, his side, because there's no way he'd be able to succeed without some luck. So, let's get right to it. The box is very nice. I love the artistry on the box. I love just the design of Funko bo uh, boxes. I also just love Star Wars uh, uh, Funko Pops in general because they usually have an in uh, integrated base, which is very nice. Put that down there. And we've got the Battle Damage R2-D2. It is a bobblehead, which is very cool. Very nice. Super excited about this one. Oops. Super excited about this one. Definitely retro. It's weathered nicely. It's dirty. It's grimy. He looks like he's on Dagobah. Or after he got damaged. Or he's just dirty. He looks amazing. Definitely a 10 out of 10. I don't notice any paint defects. I will say this. I'm not that big of a fan of when they make the, uh, the versions of bobbleheads. I like the solid heads, the solid necks. I'm not a fan of the bobbleheads, but I do like it. So definite 10 out of 10. Alright, on to the next one. The next one we have is 362 Princess Leia. This one is pretty cool as well. Rip Carrie Fisher, you will be missed. But well, let's get right to it. Not going to talk much about the box because it's pretty much the same. They're all part of the 40th anniversary of the Empire Strikes Back. And she is awesome. Absolutely spectacular. She's got a blast. No, that's not a blast. That's just her finger pointing. What am I talking about? There are no paint defects as far as I can see. There is a bit of paint rub off from her hair behind her ears. And from her white skin onto her hair. So she does have some issues. So you're going to have to be careful with that. But other than that, she looks great to me. I might notice some stuff later, but as far as I can tell, she's in great condition. Definite 9 out of 10. Very cool. Let's get on to the next one. Which is number 363, Luke Skywalker and Yoda. This base is actually really cool. It's a Dagobah base. It looks like the ground from Dagobah. It looks amazing. Absolutely fantastic. This Lota looks almost like like a like a, a middle-aged version of Baby Yoda. An old version of Baby Yoda. They should really just name that Baby Yoda, like, not just like the child. Give it a name. Everyone's going to keep calling it Baby Yoda unless they don't give it a name. But it looks absolutely awesome. Super cool. Super awesome. No paint defects as far as I can see and no paint bleed. This one is definitely... A 10 out of 10. 
Yep, definitely a 10 out of 10. You can probably light glare from my glasses. I can't wear contacts, people. My eyes roll bent in the back of my head. I know that's strange, but it's the truth. And if I angle the light any differently, you won't see the figures as well. So I've got to do it like this. Next we got, oh, I, didn't, I forgot to introduce this one. Next one we got 364 Han Solo in Carbonite. Anytime I see just like in Carbonite, I always, uh, unfortunately I am a fan of, uh, well not unfortunately, I'm, fortunately or unfortunately depending on your preference, I am a fan of Family Guy. So when they made the, the parody of the Empire Strikes Back and the third book, uh, uh, The Return of the Jedi, or not Return of the Jedi, is it? Yeah, it's Return of the Jedi. I've seen too many movies. It's Return of the Jedi, and it's just Peter Griffin coming out of this carpet. It's just absolutely hilarious. I can't help it. I'm sorry. But this one is absolutely ridiculously cool. The bobblehead is actually his head coming out of the uh, carbonite. And it even has the control panels on the side. Not in color, unfortunately. That would be absolutely extra cool. I mean, if you remember the movie and have like a still frame up, maybe you could paint inside here if you have a steady hand and get all the colors. But I can understand why they didn't do it. Again, this is very cool. Can't go wrong on paint on this. It's all pretty much one color. So, definite 10 out of 10. Yeah, that's it for the Funko Pops today. Let me know if, uh, in the comments down below what did you think of them. If you like them, let me know. Um, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, like the video. Comment down below. I probably already said that. Check out my Twitter. Check out my Patreon. And as always, my fellow collectors, have a nice day. And peace out.